Hey guys, so it's been pretty hot out lately and I probably won't go out and do any detecting today, but I'm gonna stop by this park over here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. There's a lot of history out here. I know there's a trail over here that leads to a really old cemetery. I've never been to it. So I figured I would take you guys along with me and uh, let's see if we can have some fun. So I will talk to you guys here in a little bit. Hey guys, so I added a little bit of information. Uh, if you look at the pictures, I will put it on with the video. You can go ahead and pause them and read the information, but this is the trail I'm walking down right now. And apparently this uh, goes over some uh, railroad tracks. And when we get over the railroad tracks, it apparently is supposed to be some type of cemetery way in the back. So I'm gonna go check it out. And uh, as soon as we get across the tracks, I'll let you know. Well, as you can see, a whole bunch of train tracks here. And I pretty much, you know, you can cross over and go through some trails and stuff. But look, it used to run through here, but there's no way to get through here now. Just a bunch of uh, plants and stuff. So we'll walk down here and see what we can find. Hey guys, so I've reached the sign. It says Worthington Cemetery Cedar Barren Ecological Study Area. It says Tennessee Valley Authority managed in cooperation with Tennessee citizens for wilderness planning in the city of Oak Ridge. And it says visitors welcome and it's uh, foot traffic only. So we'll see how far the cemetery is up here. What you can see is a trail that goes way down there. And there's someone way over there in front of me you can see. So it's like a big trail. So pretty neat. And it goes all the way back down there too. So see you guys in a bit. Alright so I've made it to the trail up here. I'll walk out here. You can tell this is really old though. Let's see how you have different like headstones and stuff. Kinda hard to read the print on this. I'll see if I can get something else. This one says William F. De Groot, March 10th, 1886 to December 28th, 1953. We got another one right here. I mean, you can see a whole bunch of neat little headstones out here. This one is uh, Alice Warwick Sanders, December 4th, 1871 to December 8th, 1947. Kind of crazy, though, you'd have something out here like this all hidden. It'd be nice if, uh, you know, they could upkeep it and stuff, but... Do some more walking. You can see it's just like a big trail. It's just a whole bunch of headstones out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, these people are all born in the 1800s from what you can see. Oh, that's a bummer. Lucille Worthington, April 2nd, 1942. Just a baby. I love when you run into spider webs. <laughs> I mean, look at this place. Let's see if we can find some more stuff. I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm out here in a spot. It says the wetlands, and it's uh, by TVA, but you get a whole bunch of uh, listings of the different birds they have out here. Pretty unique looking, though. You got this little bridge thing. You can hear all the animals and stuff out here. I got a little thing where you can actually look out and stuff and uh, check things out, but you can hear the birds and stuff out here. Well, that's pretty cool, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. So right now I'm back on some trails. I spoke with a gentleman earlier who's kind of giving me a history about this place. But uh, way back in the day they had some uh, really old houses. And he said out here in the woods there's about three foundations that are really hard to get to because like the brush and stuff. But he says on these trails there's some more headstones. So I'm going to walk and look at them. I think they're unmarked though. Uh, they didn't have any way of putting scripture on them. But I'll find them and uh, let you know what I find. See you in a bit. So here's another one right here. I'm kind of on a side trail walking through the brush but you can see like different like headstones I'm trying not to walk into these spider webs so many different spider webs around here I'm pretty sure that's a 
headstone right there. We got another one over here too. Yeah, how do you see it? Also, they got yellow flags by them just to mark them so you know exactly their headstones, but. There's another one down here. There's a bunch of them out here, as you can tell. All hidden back here. Here's another one right here. The only one it has anything. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the quick trip. Just kind of wanted to show you some history out here in uh, Tennessee. So if I find anything else, I'll see you on the next video, guys.